Hey everybody, today we're gonna to look at turning any percussion loop into an instrument which you can perform. So all we need to do at the beginning here is pick some sort of drum loop that we have. We're gonna use Apple Loops today, but this isn't limited just to Apple Loops. But we'll pull any of these out. Sure, that'll work for now. Let's zoom in on this. What I'm gonna do next is really simply just right click on it. We're going to convert to new sampler track. We'll do it by transient markers so that it's each individual piece instead of just the entire region. In this case, we're gonna create one shot zones because it's a percussion instrument. We'll leave it the same name as the loop for now. I do want to put this up a little higher than if we just started the very lowest note. So we can actually just play it on the keyboard a little easier. Click OK. Now, the first thing you're going to see is we have that instrument as an EXS24, so it's converted into a sample. And part of the reason why it sounds a little bit different is because the tempo is different than the original 198. But now I can play keys on my keyboard. And have access to all the notes. Now, another really cool thing we can do with this, because EXS24, while it's still a, a decent sampler, doesn't have as much power as some of our other ones. And so what I actually want to do here is edit this. And we're going to export sampler instrument and sample files for this whole thing. I'm going to put it on my desktop for now make a new folder we'll save it right in there close all of this down I'm going to create one new track this time I'm going to do it with alchemy and we're going to come in here to advanced but I'm going to initialize the preset for this, I'm going to import into the A bank. And let's see, let's do, let's come all the way out to our hard drive, users, desktop, instrument. There's the actual thing itself. And then here's the instrument. We'll do unlimited layers and then click import now it's importing this in it's analyzing it and it's going to become an instrument we can use in alchemy at the very end so we went from a loop at the very beginning to a loop that was spliced up and put into exs24 that we could trigger now it's going to be inside alchemy and in alchemy we can do much more with it we can really tweak things around and do so much with it okay so now we have that Let's come into A for a moment, edit this. You can see it's across all these. Let's add this to the solo. And now it's been pulled in as that instrument. Now I just pulled a random loop out of there. You can actually find ones that make sense in the style you're working with. You can do it with pretty much any audio file that's existing out there. And so it's worth exploring. One other note about this, if you are using one of the green MIDI loops here, you can pull those onto an audio track and it will convert it into audio as well. So you're not limited just to doing this type of thing with the actual just audio loops you could do with any of them. Now, it could be said that why would you want to do this to a MIDI loop because it's already triggering something which you can change the tempo and, and trigger individually. However, 
some of the alchemy synthesis tools are really, really powerful, and they would only work in this case if they were audio files first. Okay, so just to look at now converting a loop into a sampled instrument, exporting that, opening it up inside alchemy and using all the tools in alchemy. Just a quick look at this whole process today. Hope you're having a great week. We are going to be on a little hiatus for a week, and then we'll be back hitting it really hard later in the month.